I understand that I'm not really a tutorial expert when it comes to describing stuff at Monster Hunter. Doing these weapon overview things is kind of a way for me to practice explaining mechanics. Rather than just go out and demonstrate things by pushing buttons, I would like to get better at explaining how the different weapons behave. So feel free, for those of you that are watching these videos, feel free to leave comments and give me feedback for how I can improve my explanations on the different mechanics and stuff I talk about. Okay, let's swap over to our greatsword build. We will eat for attack. And I think I need to redo... Our next target uses dragon element and is a bit of a challenge. We will try and make our job a little bit easier. Don't want to get rid of this. The charger decoration is what we need to maintain focus three. I suppose I can get rid of these two to slot in dragon res. Where is it on my list here? Dragon Jewel. Figure out where. Oh, here we go. I did some decoration crafting earlier. Because, ah, here. For some reason, all my stuff's out of order. We'll do it like this. That's Dragon Res Jewel times four. Could have sworn I crafted a Dragon Res Jewel level one. Let me double check the Meldor real quick. We're gonna want level three Dragon Res for this next fight for convenience sake. Oh, I must not have saved. Alright, well, well, we'll meld that real quick. We've got some extra ones. So we'll throw it in place for our crisis drool. Dragon resistance gives us a plus 20 to overall resistance, defense plus 10, and I believe it will prevent Dragon Blight. We will find out in the next fight. Bad friends, great enemies. We are hunting an Ebony Odogaron in the Coral Highlands. This particular fight is a debut of a subspecies we haven't seen yet. We fought the subspecies for Glavinus, which is the acidic cousin. This is the cousin to the basic angry red Odogaron. Monsters being 
affected by that song. Now I get to remember how to do this fight. Looks like there's a Narcacuga and a Legiana on the map. I believe we need to make our way towards the upper section couple levels higher. I don't want to head towards the left side of the map, I don't think. I have to remember where the spawn point is for this particular monster. In the meantime, we'll keep looking for clues. Hopefully stay out of Narga's way. Looks like it's in the zone next to us. Oh, there it is. If we don't aggro it, we should be able to just walk by. Don't really want to pick a fight at the moment with that monster. Oh, we can try and fast travel. To this particular camp and then check the area below. See if this gets us closer to where Ebony Odo actually spawns. Oh, there's Legiana. If we can get the scout flies locked onto the tracks of our mysterious target, that should be our quest objective. Right, the cutscene's down here. It's Clifford. That's Edgy Clifford. probably guess the main gimmick for Ebony Odogaron is that it uses the dragon element. It's a bit more projectile happy as a result, and its moveset is a bit different in rhythm from the regular Odogaron. In addition to its claws and its pouncing, you now have to worry about dealing with its breath. If I wasn't slotted in with resistance, I'd be in a lot more trouble. And by the icon, it looks like I have Dragon Blight. So level 3 doesn't prevent the Dragon Blight. 
but it does mean I'll take less damage from it. Let's see if we can get a wall hit. Like regular Odogron, we can take the tail off after we've done enough damage. If we go for another knockdown, we can try and get some more charged hits on the tail. Immobilizing this monster as often as possible is the best way to handle this fight. It's annoyingly fast. Clean hit. We've got a break on the tail. Because we're not using an elemental weapon, Dragon Blade might not be a super huge deal. Especially since we're not. don't have a high affinity rate with this one either. As it's leaping around, Ebony Odo likes to do those sort of snipe shots with its dragon breath. Meaning you have to sort of watch its trajectory as it's leaping around. Unless you want to get bombed. Despite its speed, doing this fight with the Gunlands wasn't too bad. Mostly because I could let Odogaron come to me and then give it a shot to the face. With the Great Sword, my positioning is a bit more important. As a result, having to constantly move around. The Edgy Clifford is kind of spastic as it moves around, which means. Means my opportunities to hit are a bit more limited. Oh, there's Narga. There it goes. If we can lure them in the same area, we might be able to get a turf war going there. Let's see if we have an opportunity for another wall hit. Get a tenderize on the head. Oh, that's right. When its claws are out, Ebony can inflict bleed status as well. Should have brought some jerky. Now let's see if we can get some breaks on the claws, knock it over. Oh. 
Ooh, that's a big hit. Picked up an Ebony Odo Lash for that. That's handy. We'll go ahead and top out on Sharpness. We can get some more Slinger ammo, and since it's unraged, we can set it in the wall again. I found that because this particular monster jumps around like a maniac. Getting a wall hit to incapacitate it while you get some charge shots is definitely easier than trying to pin it down. So we get an opening. Ah. Ha! Flashed out of the air. Aww. I was hoping the incline on the slope will let that go over my head. It did not. Overall, I think, I think we're doing decent damage. We can keep the pressure on. I think we'll be able to wrap this up relatively soon. We just have to make our way all the way back down to that lower section of the highlands. Coming this way. You can hear it. Oh, no, it's still there. I think it was the bite that was inflicting the Dragon Blight status on me. Looks like my resistance is protecting me from the projectiles, but not its bite. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Turf War. I like how photo ground just gets chucked. I think we're gonna, we're gonna get out of there before we have to deal with Narga. I can't use my Raider Ride. Sort of a burst in front. Ah. 
see if we can try and get a wall hit while it's fatigued here. I should have grabbed some jerky while I was in camp. 